Now that we have our core architectural structure, the waterfalls, and some foliage and rocks, I'm going to go into some more details on adding in some certain architectural flair to put the level together. First up, we're going to add in some pillars as a support for this bridge and walkway system. So we'll go to our content browser and go all and in our packages we'll just select uh, content on the left and type in our search bar pillar. We're going to select this first pillar on the right this SMCA SGP 2B and put it in the world. Next we're going to scale it down to 0.75 and then line it up with our walkway bridge system. And then put a, another set at the end of our foundation. Like that. Next we'll clone these two sets of pillars to the other side of the bridge clone it once more and then one last time for the last bridge on the right What we'll also do is clone this pillar to line up with the edge of the foundation on this side of the map. Next, the set of pillars in the middle, these four, we will select them and then clone them up. that. Then, once we have that, we're going to add in a set of arches using a trim piece on our bridges. So we're going to go to our content browser and search for trim. Scroll down until you find this NEC trims SM plane CURA and put it in the world. For this trim, change the scale to 0.5 and rotate it 90 degrees. And put it on top of our pillar. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to clone the same uh, trim arch to the other side and as we cloned it, we're going to go to transform and transform around Y axis so that this edge is mirrored to this edge here, the wider part of the trim, as you can see. And we'll put this on top of our pillar over here. Then we will clone these two pieces, rotate them, and line them up on our pillars. To complete the arch, we're going to add in a middle section. Uh, let's do that. We'll go to our content browser and under trims, search for NEC trims SM plane STRB in place in the world. We're going to rotate it so that the wider part is on the inside, 90 by 90 degrees. Move it up and change the scale to 0.5 and 1.25 in the X and then line it up in between the gaps that we have. And 
and then what we could do is clone it and rotate it and put it into place in the other gap. Now that we have the arch complete, we can select all the pieces of the arch. and clone it to the right side. We can adjust the uh, placement just a little bit of our pillars so that they're underneath our arch. and likewise adjust these pillars as well just a little bit next what we're going to do is add in a set of pillars on the ends of this walkway like this and then what we'll do is we'll select one of our arches along with the straight piece in the middle and clone it and rotate it 90 degrees and what we'll do is we'll place it between this pillar on the end and the larger pil pillar in the middle so this is in the center, so what we'll do is we'll just adjust this pillar over to the right and move it out and then adjust this one just a little bit and then we'll clone this arch we'll transform it right click, transform cross X axis and then we'll put it in the middle here and then adjust this pillar a little bit to make sure that our arch sits in the center and we adjust this guy a little bit as well and next what we're going to do is we're going to add in some uh, railing or stone railings along our walkways before we add in the stone railing I'm going to add in a few more pillars for the sake of symmetry so we're going to clone this guy and put it on the back over here and clone it again clone it a few more times and there we go now with the pillars in place I'm gonna go to the content browser and search for short wall if you type the word short actually the asset we need appears so select this guy and drag into the world the scale on this wall is going to be 0.25 now with the wall scale down simply just place it along the level as a railing to go along with our walkway so it's very simple of just using the movement rotation and duplication techniques to just go around the level and place the stone railing
and just continue doing the duplication to add the railing on all parts of the level. Let's try to line it up as close as possible. And there we go, our railing is set. For the next step, I'm going to add in some structures and railings behind our pillars here. <laughs> 